Uh, we are here at uh, Central Philippine Adventist College, uh, 30 kilometers away from Bacolod City and just 7 kilometers away from Murcia. And we are glad that uh, in this school, we have met uh, a Centralian, uh, a graduate of uh, Master of Science in uh, Guidance and Counseling, and he is the Vice President for Student Affairs of uh, CPAC. Uh, good morning, sir, and we, are, we thank you that uh, you have welcomed us here at uh, CPAC. Uh, friends, our Centralian uh, here at CPAC, the Vice President for Student Affairs, is uh, Pastor Elvin, uh, Elvin Toledo. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Elvin, can you tell us, Pastor Elvin, can you tell us about uh, Central Philippine Adventist College? Uh, Central Philippine Adventist College is founded uh, in 1992, uh, 1982 rather, as a 35 year old uh, college. Um, it's operated by the Seventh day Adventist Church, and as of the moment, um, we are catering students from all over the world. We have students from Africa, from from America, and from China who have come wow. to study in mm -hmm. this institution. So you have more than 1,000 students here at the campus? Yeah. Exactly. And uh, uh, what does the Vice President for Student Affairs do? Um, well, I am responsible for, under me, are uh, the foreign students and uh, the office. And I am responsible for the accommodation of the students. Accommodation. Uh, yeah. And then pertaining to student services is uh, all under the Pertaining? Cafeteria. Okay, cafeteria. Dormitories, mm -hmm. and we have the education that says the Okay. So how many dormitories do we have here at the campus? Uh, basically, we have one for the girls' dormitory, uh, for the girls, and one for the boys. And we have this... Uh, Education that saves village that caters the need of our non uh, of our uh, working students. So we have also the uh, cottages for the girls and for, for the boys. Okay. So how many is the population of the boys' dorm or the men's dorm? As of the moment, um, we have more than 100. Okay, for the more than 100. Okay. The boys' dormitory and the girls' dormitory. And women's dorm, uh, uh, more than 100 uh, also. More, yeah, yeah. Uh, how many work students do we have? Um, we have uh, 251 as of the moment. 251. So they work in the farm and in the school, in the, in school, the grounds? In the grounds, in the dormitories, in the cafeteria, okay. in the offices. Okay. And then uh, part of their tuition is subsidized by the school or free? Um, they are working actually the, the, for the tuition, tuition for the tuition. Okay. So it's almost free yeah. uh, when you work for it. And they are, we are paying them by the hours. Ah, by hours, by the okay. Hours. So if we work 10 hours, then I think we are uh, giving them 25 pesos per hour. Okay. So why is it, uh, going back to CPU, mm -hmm. why is it that uh, you are here in Murcia mm -hmm. and you decided to study in Iloilo at uh -huh. Central Philippine University? Actually, Dr. Arman Fabilia uh, extended, uh, extended the program uh, to me. Uh, way back in 2011 because he's organizing a group of, of pastors and mm. teachers uh, of I think of 15 that he will be uh, a job professor for CPU that would cater the needs of the pastors and the teachers. So okay. I was invited and I touched the vision so I joined uh, the, the Pupo. Okay, so how was your stay at CPU? Um, it was a nice experience because uh, it helps me to know myself better mm -hmm. when I have that uh, when I engage in this uh, social discipline in, in, in guidance and counseling, I was able to to discover my, my real self in okay. that discipline. Okay. I'm glad that uh, an Adventist is in a Baptist school. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, in CPU, you studied the guidance and counseling. Mm -hmm. uh, can you re still remember your mentors and what are the things that you've learned from them? Yeah. Um, I can remember Dr. Marvin Haba, Dr. Fingy the Beard, um, and uh, the, the mission, uh, the HR of Mission Hospital, Hospital okay. the uh, HR, uh, I forgot. Okay, uh, so what, what did you learn from Mom the Beard? Oh, well, research. basically research. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now I'm teaching research in, in the Oh, campus. that's good, that's good. And with oh. that uh, training that I had with uh, Dr. Reed, it really helps me. And even I'm doing my doctoral now. And mm. uh, actually, Adventist uh, International Institute of Advanced Studies is planning me to is planning to uh, take me as one of the professor teaching research okay. because of, of wow. the guidance of Dr. David. Wow, that's yeah. good. 
So do you have the book of Mount David and uh, do you still? Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. that's good. Yeah. Okay. Actually, that is my my, my, my textbook. My textbook. Oh, okay, yeah. that's great. That's great. Okay, how about Mom Haba? Well, um, uh, vocational uh, career, vocational and career guidance. Okay, um, yes, yes. It helps me on how to to guide uh, students on on the right location. Mm -hmm. So I, I learned from 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 her on that aspect. Okay. In terms of values and uh, faith, uh, what are the things that you have learned from CPU that you're you're still using here in CPAC? One of the values I learned from CPU, the professor and the, the faculty are really helping the, the students. They are offering extra mile. And okay. Every good. time I call Dr. David for for consultation, she really opens the way and even she extended uh, her house mm -hmm. uh, to accommodate me whenever I need. And that's the values that uh, one of the values I learned from from CPU faculty. They, they are really helping the students to finish the okay. desire uh, the yeah, the, the extra mile yeah, uh, attitude, yeah. the spirit. Okay. So uh, I heard that you, there are only two of you here who are Centralians yeah, in yeah. Uh, CDAC. Mm -hmm. So how is the central spirit here? Uh, still <laughs> flying. Still <laughs> flying. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's yeah. good. That's good. Uh, anyway, what, sir, uh, as uh, the vice president for student affairs, what are the uh, the foremost challenges here in in your school? Well, the foremost challenge uh, we have here uh, actually is the dealing with the millennials. Dealing with yeah, the millennials. Uh, we are hard time because we have different mindset mm -hmm. and you, you know they have different culture and applying the baby bombers concept of, mm -hmm. of dealing them is not uh, applicable as of the moment. So we need to actually to study their mindset and their worldviews in order for them to to contextual our approach in guiding them mm -hmm. to become good. a better person. Oh, that's good. So you, you, you now realize that our world is full of millennials yeah. and actually they are the majority yeah, exactly. in the world right now. Mm -hmm. So we need to adjust our yes. teaching methods yeah. and how we deal with them. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So sir, going forward, what are your dreams for CPAC? Well, um, my our, our the administration goal is actually that CPAC will become the center of discipleship and evangelism in, in, in central politics. That is our really our dream to train our students to have that um, uh, values of humility, competence, uh, uh, respect, integrity, and service-oriented and teamwork. That, that is actually, our acronym actually is CHRIST. CHRIST, uh, yeah, okay, Christ. CHRIST. We have that competence, our competence. core values, okay. humility, humility respect, respect, integrity, integrity service-oriented, service and teamwork. And teamwork, wow, very good. So that's CHRIST uh, yeah, uh, that's for Christ. us. Yeah. So thank you very much, sir, for your time. And uh, we are glad that uh, we have found the Centralian here at Central Philippine College. So my friends, uh, the Centralian profile for today is the Vice President for Student Affairs, Pastor Elden Toledo of the Central Philippine Adventist College. Thank you very much. Sir. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you.